okay, okay, okay. I'll do it. If you don't know what a vacuum engine is, it's all in the name. It's an engine that runs on a vacuum. And today, I'm going to attempt to build one. Okay, I kind of know what I already want it to look like, so let's get started. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, all right, uh, we got a little bit of run, but something broke. Ah, okay, so this came off the axle here. So it did run and it ran very fast, uh, but it broke really quickly. So I'm gonna try to put together a throttle for it and see if I can kind of adjust the speed to where it doesn't break immediately. Okay, so I built this little throttle body here. As you can see, this is the way it works. As you probably already know, I am an idiot, and the throttle body did not actually work. So when you open it up, of course it's gonna let more air through. Let's see if it runs. And it broke. All right, we're gonna give it one more shot. <laughs> Something's happening, I don't know what. I did notice that the throttle was not working. All right, let's go ahead and try it one more time. So something's getting stuck. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so <laughs> clearly it runs for like half a second and then breaks. So I'm gonna try to do another little redesign where it won't break, hopefully this time. So let's try that. Okay, so the fix was actually really simple. I just put a wall of bricks here to keep it from sliding out. So hopefully that will actually fix the problem this time. All right, let's see how it works. It runs! Oh. And it broke. I've never had one run that long before. Well, I would say that is a success. For my second ever vacuum engine, I think that ran pretty well. That was pretty cool. I'm glad I tried this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.